The Chelyabinsk meteorite is an object of cosmic origin that fell in the Chelyabinsk region at 9.20 a.m. local time on February 15, 2013. Eyewitnesses of its flight saw a flying bright ball with a long smoke trail, like a jet plane. In addition, the space bolide made a sound as it flew. Observers close to the crash site heard it and described it as a rustling or soft crackling sound. Fishermen from Lake Chabarkal saw the moment of fall of large parts of the meteorite, one of which fell into the water. A few minutes later, shockwave sounds similar to explosions rang out. Phenomena like this are rare and occur once in a century. The largest fragment of the Chelyabinsk meteorite is in the State Historical Museum of the Southern Urals. What happened in the sky above Chelyabinsk? A thousand-ton bolide flew with cosmic velocity to our planet. The friction in the layers of the atmosphere heated it to several thousand degrees and took the form of a burning ball, and its speed was 18 kilometers s. The space object flew and melted in the atmosphere for 32 seconds before disintegrating into pieces at an altitude of 23 kilometers. Interesting fact. Not everyone knows that a bolide is a space body that invades the Earth's atmosphere. And a meteorite is what is left over from the melting of the bolide in the atmosphere and falls to Earth. Traditionally, a meteorite is named after the locality near where it fell. The hissing sounds from the passing of the body, which witnesses of the event would later tell us about, came from the friction of such a large object with the air and were electromagnetic in nature. The sound of the explosion a few minutes later was the sound of a ballistic shock wave, which arose from the breaking of the weighty alien in the dense layers of the atmosphere. Nuclear explosion monitoring stations around the world recorded that the wave circled the Earth twice. Several teams of researchers set out to find the fallen meteorite and its fragments. During the first days, they found many fragments on the ice of Lake Chabarkal and around it weighing 4 kilograms. The team worked for more than 10 days until a heavy snowfall, due to which the search had to be suspended. In summer, local residents found meteorite fragments at dachas and homesteads. Scientists urged to collect valuable space material and help science. A reward was given for the stones found from space. Interesting fact. What to do if you found a meteorite? It is necessary to send by parcel 20% of the found stone to the Committee on Meteorites of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Specify the place and date, appearance, and describe the circumstances of finding. The remaining 80% of the space rock found can be kept by the finder. Six months lay at the bottom under a 5-meter layer of silt a large space debris, which landed in Lake Chabarkal. A team of divers extracted from the 11-meter depth find weighing 570 kilograms. When it was lifted it split into pieces. The largest fragment is on display at the State Historical Museum of the Southern Urals and weighs 503 kilograms. After it was extracted from the water, the meteorite was weighed on car scales and they broke. The power of the destructive wave. Immediately after the fall, Russian scientists estimated the destructive power of the shock wave at 100 kilotons. NASA, in turn, gave a figure of 440 kilotons. If the average power of each nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki is taken as 20 kilotons, then the force of the explosion near Chelyabinsk is equal to 22 nuclear bombs. After the flight of a space bolide a smoking trail was left in the sky. Eight months after the event, several groups of specialists, independent of one another, measured the explosion again. Scientists solved the problem in different ways. Czech scientists examined video data from cameras and recorders that recorded the event. Experts from Canada proceeded from the picture of the destruction left by the shockwave on the ground. The Institute of Geospheric Dynamics of the Russian Academy of Sciences requested data from infrasound nuclear test monitoring stations. After processing the information, the researchers concluded that the power of the explosion was equal to 500 kilotons. In addition, they specified other data, the weight of the meteorite was determined to be 13,000 tons and it was determined that it flew at a speed of 19 kilometers per second. At the moment the bolide entered the Earth's atmosphere, it was the size of a nine-story house, with a diameter of 20 meters. It's interesting. On a clear August night, you can see up to 10 shooting stars in an hour. These are meteors, small particles weighing up to a milligram. 
They are not dangerous and burn up in the atmosphere before reaching the ground. The mineral composition of a meteorite. The first analyses in the laboratory immediately showed that the object that fell over Chelyabinsk was of extraterrestrial origin. Its composition was formed about 4 billion years ago. In addition, it was possible to determine that the bolide, which intruded into our atmosphere about 300 million years ago, separated from a much larger space object. The flight to Earth took several thousand years. It had time to collide with another bolide on the way, as evidenced by internal cracks filled with melted matter. Cracks from the impact with another space object are clearly visible in the section of the meteorite fragment. Institute of Geology and Mineralogy RAS and staff of the Committee on Meteorites RAS defined the Chelyabinsk meteorite as an ordinary chondrite, that is a stone. It was found to have a high iron content, 30%, as well as nickel, cobalt, and copper. It is noted that the presence of copper is atypical for similar chondritic meteorites. Interesting fact. How do you identify a meteorite? Usually it is black from melting in the atmosphere, matte or, on the contrary, as if covered with a varnished stone. If it has been in the ground for a long time, it will oxidize and turn brown with a reddish or bluish hue. The scale of the consequences of the event. The main damage to residents of Chelyabinsk was caused by a shock wave from the hypersonic speed of the meteorite. The strike struck the nearest neighbors, the town of Kapaisk and more remote settlements. The district centers of Amansolinsk, Korkino and the village of Etkel were affected. Yuznaralsk turned out to be the most affected city at 89 kilometers from the epicenter of the event. The shock wave destroyed the wall and part of the roof of the Chelyabinsk zinc plant. The area of destruction covered 90 kilometers perpendicular to the trajectory of the falling space body. Many apartment buildings, kindergartens, schools and hospitals were left without window panes, about 4,000 buildings in total. Wounded buildings were destroyed and the roofs of some institutions were demolished. In total, more than 1,600 people sought medical help, victims were mainly from broken glass. The seismographs within a radius of 4,000 kilometers from the epicenter two days after the Stone Guest invasion recorded an underground shock of four points in the region of Chelyabinsk. For comparison, the Tunguska meteorite caused a tremor of five points. This is interesting. If a luminous bolide flies across the sky, it is not certain that it will end up as a meteorite. If the Chelyabinsk meteorite had been lighter and traveling at more than 20 km per second, it would have melted in flight before reaching the surface. Facts about the Chelyabinsk meteorite There is more than just devastation left over from the event that occurred. The meteorite continues its life on Earth, adding interesting facts to its history. The meteorite could not be seen in advance because a telescope can only consider the object from 100 meters in diameter. The first eyewitnesses of the meteorite landing decided that a missile exploded or an airplane crash occurred. The Chelyabinsk region has spent 3 million rubles for the operation to extract the space guest from the bottom of Lake Chabarkal. Due to the consequences of the destruction in some areas of the Chelyabinsk region, the state of emergency lasted for a month. A few days after the fall, eyewitnesses observed silvery clouds glowing in the sky. Scientists reported that the Tunguska meteorite left behind a similar phenomenon. A piece of meteorite weighing 2.5 kilograms was sawed off from the historical museum in Chelyabinsk during the research, but was soon found and returned to the museum. Special medals with fragments of shards were made as a gift for the 10 champions of the Winter Olympics in Sochi. A total of 50 copies of such souvenirs were made. Lake Chabarkal became famous. A year later, local authorities devised a tourist route to the site of the event, where a commemorative steel was erected. The Significance of the Chelyabinsk Meteorite for Science Chelyabinsk Meteorite is of interest to scientists as an object of cosmic origin. In Russia, meteorites are in charge of the Committee on Meteorites of the Russian Academy of Sciences. They identify the chemical composition, describe the structure and study the physical properties of space rocks that were found in the country. The obtained knowledge is useful for various fields of science. Metallurgists use this data to study artificial alloys. 
scientists geodynamicists draw conclusions about the structure of our planet. By the nature of the passage of a meteorite through the atmosphere, they judge the structure of the atmosphere itself. Mineralogy draws conclusions about the nature of mineral formation in the universe. For example, in meteorites have been found all the chemical elements that exist on Earth and unknown to science are not identified. So, all celestial bodies and the universe consist of matter of the same origin. This is interesting. Up to 1,000 ordinary meteorites land in the world per year. Most of them are destined to remain at the bottom of seas and oceans, in sandy or snowy uninhabited spaces. Scientists get nothing, about five objects for research per year. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.